Okay. It's made in the 1920s by Edison's National Phonograph Company. They're some of the last cylinder records to be produced. And they were produced pr primarily for the rural market. Edison, with cylinders, developed a very steady group of customers in rural parts of the United States that stuck with him. And uh, Vernon Dalhart was very, very popular with rural America. And these uh, cylinders have a plaster core. And that core tends to, with time, expand. And it's uh, the cylinders get irregular, and there's a lot of them on YouTube that people have played, and they have a tremendous amount of wow and flutter because the cylinders are actually not round anymore. What you have to do is ream them out, and I'm going to show how to do that. This is the reamer, and I'm going to take the cylinder. I'm going to put the reamer, which has um, sandpaper on it, and I'm going to turn it like this. And I'm reaming it out and making it round again. Because they, over time, over a hundred years, they develop a, uh, a lack of roundness that really affects the playback of them. So I am doing this to get them round again. And once I do, the quality will be so much better than most late blue ambrules that you'll hear on YouTube. That because uh, most people don't know about this. This is the reamer, and there's the dust from the plaster. And uh, now the cylinders ream, and we'll play it. Okay, turn it off.